friends, welcome back to the channel. I'm Melissa, the boss lady here at Crazy Love Bath and Body. And today we're going to be making our March Artisan Soap. We're calling it Daydreamer. And if you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe and let's go make some soap. All right, so we are back with our oils. We've got our coconut olive castor certified sustainable palm oil. We're gonna add in our lye water solution and get that blended until incorporated. Okay, so we're gonna um, separate this before we put in our fragrance oil, just because I don't want it to set up too quickly. And I want this batch to be two different colors. Okay, so I'm gonna do that for our top layer. And I'm gonna color this in just a minute. I'm gonna set it aside. And then this part is going to be the bottom layer of soap. And let's get our colorant and fragrance oil in. Okay, and then our fragrance oil is called Butterfly Flower, and it's a, a more floral fragrance than I normally do, but it smells so good. It's, um, got lily and some orange and musk and amber and it's just a really good scent. Kind of gives me springtime vibes. All right, so I need to blend this up so it's a little bit thicker, but I like that color. It looks a little bit darker on, or in person than it does on the screen, but I think this will be good. I want the bottom layer to kind of look like grass or flower stems. So I'm gonna blend this up a little bit more just to get a little thicker. Okay, I think this is good. Let's pour it into our mold and let it sit up for another minute or so. And then we're gonna texture the top. So it's moving around a little bit in there, but it's not too set up. I can give it some texture. Um, just kind of play with it a little bit. I think the fork was a good choice. Oops. Um, I wasn't sure how I was gonna texture it, but I'm liking the way this looks. Kind of want it to have some peaks in here. Let's go ahead and do our pink and we'll see how this turns out. Okay, we're gonna use the rest of our fragrance oil in this and our colorant. And the color we're using for the pink is Flower Girl, which is my favorite pink, and also Love Bite, just to kind of brighten it up a little bit. Okay. Get our pink in here. And I mix that color with um, olive oil to kind of disperse the colorant in the soap a little better. That pink, I think, is going to be perfect. All right, so we've got our mold, and I don't know, that that's not moving anywhere. That's in there. So I'm gonna use my ladle and break the fall of this pink soap on there. 
just so it gets into every nook and cranny since I did texture it. And that looks gorgeous. All right, friends, so I've got our piping ready and I'm gonna use a round tip. I'm just trying to get a good hold on this piping bag. We've got a little air pocket. I'm trying to work those out. Okay, should we give this a try? Okay, so we've got our green base in here with the pink on top. And now we're going to do our sky or blue frosting. I'm really excited about this. So I'm really excited about these artisan soaps. We're gonna be doing a new one each month. Last month, February was a heartbreaker. This one is Daydreamer. And I'm really, really excited about this one. I'm hoping the texture on the grass on the bottom layer looks good. So I wanted this soap to look kind of like a flower or well, actually like a meadows without being a flower. <laughs> so I'm trying to play on that a little bit. So this fragrance oil in the soap smells very um, springtime. And comment down below, are you guys ready for spring? I know in Colorado where I'm at, it has not been a rough winter, but I am ready to plant some flowers and get, get spring started over here. <laughs> the kids wanna try a garden this year. So we are going to be doing that. Set this aside for a minute. And let's go get those uh, butterfly embeds. All right, so I've got our loaf. Here is our butterfly embed. And I'm just gonna stick these on the side. Let's see which side looks better. Actually, I think it's okay. So I'm just gonna stick them on the side and let's see about doing every other side. There we go. So I made these little embeds with melt and pour soap and colored them white with some titanium dioxide. Perfect. Okay, let me get some glitter. We've got a Sparkle Plenty by Mad Micahs. That is our soap. I'm so excited, you guys. Here, let me see if I can show you. <laughs> it's kind of dangerous raising up the soap like that. But this is our Daydreamer soap. And I will bring you right back for the cut. All right, so we are back after sitting for, oh, this one's been sitting for about, um, I don't know, two days. Probably a little longer than I should have let it go, but that's okay. So I'm just gonna get it lined up here on my cutter and hopefully I don't chop any of these embeds off because I was crooked or something. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. Let's see how it does. All right, let's take one out of the middle. Okay, so I love it. I'm really happy with that. And the fragrance smells amazing. It's so light and clean. Very, it does have that floral scent, but it's actually, it just feels very clean and fresh. 
Okay, so like I said, this green part is supposed to represent like grass or field, meadow. The pink is kind of like a flower. Then we have our sky and our little butterfly. I am so happy with it. I hope you guys love it. This is going to be our March release, Artisan Soap. Oh my goodness. So I think I'm gonna get something to kind of texture this part a little bit better. They have tools for that. I was just kind of trying to see what I could do on my own, but I'm really happy with the way these turned out. Yeah, I think that looks great, you guys. Oh, and it smells so good. I really am in love with this. I actually think this is one my mom is actually really gonna like. Okay, these will be available in March on our website, crazylovebath.com. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, if you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe. And again, these soaps will be available on our website, crazylovebath.com, the first Friday of March, March 5th. And we will see you next week for another video.